Hey everybody, Chris here again. Welcome back to the channel. Always good to have you with us. So today, we're gonna cover kind of a peculiar topic. And it's a topic that might be kind of germane to Compax. <laughs> Big surprise. Anyway, here's the situation. In some cases, when you go on the internet, you'll find drivers that'll be in an executable file. However, those drivers need to be extracted to a floppy disk. And perhaps you don't have a floppy drive. This happens a lot. So what I'm going to do today is to show you how to get around this. And the way that I do it is by using a virtual machine. Now, I'm not gonna say my method is the best, but it works for me. So today, that's gonna be our focus. Let's have a look at how to do this in a virtual machine. So here's my how-to on how to extract a floppy disk image and make it available to copy the raw contents of that disk image to a computer. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download and install VirtualBox. Any version should be fine. I actually have a little older version, but you could go down here and download version six. And there you have it. Once that finishes, you can go ahead and install it. And that's available at virtualbox.org. The next thing you're going to want to do is to download and install WinImage. And you can go to winimage.com and click download WinImage. And the latest version should be fine. You can go ahead and install that. And from there, we're also going to need a DOS 622 boot ISO. So I go to allbootdisks.com for that and download the DOS 622 boot ISO. And then finally, we'll want to download whatever file you're after. But let's save that for a few minutes. Let's get our virtual machine uh, set up and then I'll show you how to go and grab whatever it is you're trying to do. All right. So in my case, I've already installed VirtualBox and I've got that launched here. And I've already installed WinImage. Let me go ahead and open that up. And what we're gonna wanna do first is open up WinImage and go to File, New, and then choose a 1.44 megabyte disk and click OK. Done. File, Save. And we're not gonna put anything on it. I'm just gonna save it to the desktop and call it blank and save the type to be IMA, and save. Done. We will get back to using that in a minute. Now what we're going to do is close WinImage, as you saw me do, and create a new virtual machine. I'm going to go to New. We'll just call it DOS. Memory size, 32 megabytes is fine. Hard disk, we'll create a virtual 500 megabyte hard disk. That should be fine. We get to choose the type. We're gonna to wanna to choose a VHD file and click next. Storage is going to be a fixed size disk, next. And the location, we can choose where we wanna put it. If you wanted to be real easy, just put it on the desktop, though it's probably better not to do that, but we'll do that for ease of finding it. So it's gonna be on the desktop. We'll go ahead and create that. And lo and behold, we have a virtual machine created. So now let's go into settings on this virtual machine. And let's go ahead and go to storage. And you can see here that we have an empty floppy controller and an empty uh, CD-ROM drive. So let's click on this empty CD-ROM drive, drive and click on the image of a disk. Choose a virtual options disk file. Go to our downloads directory and there's our DOS disk that we pulled from earlier. So let's click open on that. And let's click OK. And now let's start our virtual machine. I'll make the window a little bigger so you can see it. So starting MS-DOS, it's even gonna load a CD-ROM driver. And now we are on drive A. Let me see if I can make this just a little bit better so you can see it. Perfect. Hopefully you can see that a little better. Okay. So now let's just type fdisk and let's say create a DOS partition primary and make it max available size. System's going to restart just like that. Now we're restarting. Now let's do format C colon backslash S. That'll load the system onto our drive C and format it. Proceed with format. Yes. All done. Press enter. Okay, so now what I'm going to want to do is go back so that we can see our options. So I'm going to do another control C to bring us back to our options menu here. Devices, optical drive, 
Remove disk from virtual drive. Gone. All right. Now what we want to do is copy the file into the virtual machine that we want to extract. So I'm actually going to shut down the virtual machine to do this. And in my case, I want a compact soft pack. So I'm going to go to the compact Wayback Machine website. And I've already pulled up here that I want a soft pack for an LTE 5000 series. And let's just grab some video drivers right here. And click download. And now I need to fix up the link here and change FTP compact to HP. And change capital SP to lowercase sp in all cases. And then it should download. All right. I've already actually downloaded the file once. But just to show you that it can be done, we've downloaded it again. So I'm going to now open up WinImage. And then we'll go ahead and say file open. And remember how we put that dos.vhd file on the desktop, which is our hard disk. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It's going to detect it properly with that given size. And I'm going to say image inject. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and grab that compact soft pack that I wanted. And we're going to inject it. Done. I'm going to close WinImage. Now I'm going to come back over here to my virtual machine and click settings. And we're going to go to storage. And for that floppy drive, we're going to put an empty disk in there. Though I think I actually accidentally saved the state of my machine here. So we're actually going to discard the save state of the machine. And now we're going to go settings. And then we can go to storage and we can choose something to put in the floppy drive. I'm going to choose that blank image that we put on the desktop and click OK. And now we can go ahead and start up the virtual machine again. And I'll go into a scaled mode here so we can see a little better. Start it up on drive C since we did a nice job of actually making C bootable. If I do a DIR, we're going to see that SP2763 file. Let's go to drive A. Lo and behold, file not found. Perfect. All right. So what we can do now is go back to drive C and type SP2763. And we get prompted with this here. We can do page down, type agree, put our blank quote unquote disk into drive A, which we've already done. So we're going to hit A and enter. It's going to write it out. And now if we go to drive A, lo and behold, we have an extracted directory of all files. There they are. So now what I'm going to do is I can actually shut this down. We'll just power off the machine instead of saving state like I did last time. Close this. Go to win image. File. Open. Let's grab that blank disk. There's all of our files. So now what we can do is just create a little folder on the desktop. And we can grab everything in here just by doing like a shift click. Or maybe we can just drag from the root and just drag on out to new. That actually doesn't work. But we can do a shift click and grab everything. Copy it over to the new folder. Boom. Now all you need to do is put your SD card in your SD card slot or your CF card in your CF card slot. Drag this folder over and you're all set. All right, so that's what I have for you today. Nice and easy, right? Hopefully you find it to be the case. Uh, definitely leave comments below if you have any questions about my process. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. And ring that notification bell so you can get notified when new content's available. If you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, definitely give it a thumbs down. That helps us decide what sort of content we make in the future. That's pretty much what I have for now. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.